Hey y'all, today I'm gonna be playing more Fallout New Vegas. Y'all ready? Let's go. We're back. I have to go meet Trudy at Prospector Saloon. Hey buddy. Aw, he doesn't want to face me. How are you doing? You're so cute. Alright. I think I'm gonna remain a melee build in this playthrough as well. I'd wanted to to go back. I think I left some stuff here because I got confused over which side of the stuff was mine and what wasn't. I hope it's still here. I think I, I think I dropped it in this box. Yeah, I did. Look. <laughs> Thank goodness it's still here. Okay, we got it. It's okay. <laughs> Fix that. <laughs> I shouldn't have been so- I shouldn't have been confused. I've played Fallout 4, you know? But no, I was very confused. <laughs> Alright, Prospector Saloon. Hey y'all! Oh hey Cheyenne! Oh hi! Oh Cheyenne, you're so beautiful! And she talked to me? Aw, oh, she can't talk to me. Well, talk to me, that- <laughs> More like bark at me. <laughs> I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. I don't want to steal anything. Got it? Who's saying we'll all that? that mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. Hey, what's your problem? Hey. Hey, what was his problem? Hello? Trudy, hi. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Nice to meet you. I expected her to be an old lady. <laughs> she is not. I overheard your argument. What was all that about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. Mm. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. So, where is Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Okay. <laughs> Why not just kill Cobb and have done with it? <laughs> so, uh, what are you going to do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the Powder Gangers with him. The Powder Gangers? Chang Gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Okay. <laughs> I guess this is what I have to say. Why not just kill Cobb and have done with it? You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. Is that it? I gotta just say never mind? Alright. Okay. Well, what happens if I help Ringo? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. <sighs> Of course, helping Ringo would also make the Powder Gangers mad, and they've got a lot of friends out there. I don't care about them. Is this really a question that, <laughs> that they're giving me the option to ask? Seriously? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. I'm pretty sure the answer to that question is, I help the Powder Gangers, they hate me, right? <laughs> the people of Good Springs hate me then. Who was the man you were arguing with? He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. Oh, so that was Cobb, so he's the one I suggested killing. Oh, wait. I'm trying to track down the people who attacked me. Do you know anything about them? Not much, other than they're a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. 
Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident. <laughs> and it hasn't been working since. Aw. I don't care about your radio! <laughs> you can be so mean in this game. Did my attackers say where they were going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Mm -mm. Why is that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. I, I would expect something to get mad at you if you shoot it. <laughs> so... You haven't said where those guys were going. Where were they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Okay. If fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Alrighty. You want... wait. Oh, there's so many options. You want me to look at your broken radio? Sure. The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be okay. caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Do you know the robot that rescued me? I know that thing as much oh. as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. Poor Victor. How long has he been in Good Springs? It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. And you don't like him? It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. He's just trying to be friendly. What does he do around here? Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. Oh. Fine by me. So... Anything interesting going on in the rest of the wasteland? There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. So they're fighting over the dam. We know that from last time. But I don't know if there are any good guys and bad guys in this, you know? Does Good Springs get many visitors? Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim, unless they're in desperate need of supplies. Okay, can you tell me about the NCR? The New California Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Money, troops, you name it. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me, they're trying to do too much. They're spread too thin. So, are they the good guys then? Can you tell me about the Legion? Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistake in it when you see them. The rumor is, is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on, and that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. The Legion definitely doesn't sound good. They sound like... Hmm. Very suspicious of them. Why do you think they both want the dam? I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. The Legion are a bunch of savages, though. No idea why they'd want the dam. Probably plan on destroying it or something. Wait, we don't know why they want the dam? That would be a very interesting thing to know. Huh. Is that it? Well, I don't want to say this, so I guess that is it. Can you show me what you have for sale? I'm sure I've got something you like. I'm sure you do. Okay, so... <laughs> the left is my items. The right is her items. <laughs> For some reason, I had a lot of trouble with that earlier. Okay. She's got dirty water. She's got fixing things. Oh, this will increase my repair. I don't want this. Let me uh, see if I can buy this. Okay. What else you got? Meeting people. Speech. Let's see if I can sell some of my things.
kind of want my bent tin can, you know? <laughs> I got a broad machete. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't know if I want to sell any of my things. Steady. Oh, okay. I got 55 stealth boys? Whoa. Oh no, I have one stealth boy. She'll offer me 55 caps for it. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to sell any of my things yet. Yeah. I'll accept this deal. Thank you. Pleasure doing business with you. Thank you. Be careful out there. I'll try. Okay, so I think what I want to do is not turn on my light. I want to do the quest, this one, Ghost Town Gunfight. And I also have, I feel fixed the radio, but these are the ones I've completed. Wait, 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 wait. I want to go to miscellaneous. There it is. Busted radio. Can you do that? Didn't she say it was outside? Or did she say it was in here? Ooh, my light's really good. I don't see a radio in here. Oh, I really want that salesman weekly. Do I have to do anything with my magazine I just bought? I don't remember what the name of it was. Oh, man. It was supposed to help me with my repair. I don't know if I have to do anything with it, because in Fallout 4, you just pick them up, you know? I... I don't see it. I'm probably passing it up. It wouldn't be an aid, would it? No. But it, it, it wouldn't really be in any of this. Gotta be a miscellaneous. Oh well, I don't know. Maybe I didn't even buy it. Maybe I canceled the. <laughs> yeah, how many caps do I have? No, I definitely bought it. I have less caps. I definitely managed to buy it. Where is that radio? I I think I heard it. Did she say she put it outside? Oh, I don't know. I don't think my nav point's pointing toward the radio. I think it's pointing towards the other thing. Yeah, it ain't pointing towards the radio. I don't know if she said it was outside. Did she? I don't remember. <laughs> I thought she said outside. I thought I heard it. But you know how I am. I can't pick up that sarsaparilla. Also don't know if I'm going to be able to... Ooh. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fix it because my repair skills not great. Oops. Nope, don't want to do that. I'm not seeing it outside. Must be inside. I must have missed it. I mean, you got a radio that's on. Pretty dark in here. Oh, is this the radio? Okay. An examination of the radio's internal components reveals that several parts and connections were popped loose when the radio hit the floor. It should be a fairly simple repair job to get it working again. Repair of 20 or higher is required. Well, I don't know what my repair is. Let's just try to repair it. I fix it. I hey. fix your radio. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. Thank you, but I, um... Oh, I leveled up. I fixed your radio. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering <laughs> with it. Here's some caps for the work. Thank you. I think it was already on. <gasps> I'm gonna try to barter. That's it? You're implying I've done shoddy work? Not at all. I'm never sure how much is normally charged for this sort of thing. Here's some additional caps. That should be enough. Oh, now, she was real nice about, about spending it. some of those caps in the saloon? Maybe later, but thank you. Be careful out there. Thank you. Welcome to level two. Oh man, assign 13 skill points. 
I don't know where to put them. <laughs> Energy weapons, explosives, lockpick. Probably should increase that, but I really want to increase my repair because I think that repairing my items is going to be really important, you know? Let's go with that. Can I put more than one in? Ooh, I can put more than one in repair. Let's put, let's, let's get up to repair 25. Science, that's my terminals. Sneak, speech. Increases the hit points I receive from food and drink. Oh, also helps me create consumable items at the campfire. Kind of want that to be up a little bit more too. Yeah, let's go up to 20. Not really going to be fooling with guns. Let's do melee. Yeah. All right, I've got one left. Let's put it in medicine. It determines how much I get back from stems and rad and rads and rad away. Yeah. Continue. Welcome to level two. Choose one perk. This is really nice. I like I like this setup, you know. So this is 10% more damage against male opponents. Single point into with intense training, you can put a single point into any of your special attributes. Okay. This is uh, more against ladies, more effective against ladies. With the retention perk, the bonus is granted by skill magazines last three times as long. With each rank in Swift Learner, you'll gain an additional 10% to experience points whenever experience points are earned. I want this one. All right, let's go. We got a quest. Also, I would like to get a dog as soon as possible. I want to have a dog. Okay. Gotta go this way. I hope these guys aren't too tough. I do have my cleaver though, so I'm prepared. <laughs> Hopefully my cleaver doesn't break, because I think I only have my cleaver and my machete as melee weapons. Oh, what's this place? And the machine. Lots of sunset sarsaparilla around here. This looks like it was a gas station. That's close enough. Who are Ringo? you? What do you want with me? I actually didn't expect to see you here, buddy. I um, think I'm supposed to be protecting you. I'm, I'm not an enemy, if, if, if that's what you're asking. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. Let's say we start over with a friendly game of caravan. You know how to play? Not at all. Ugh. Oh, uh, well, I was here for this, but I guess we could play caravan. What are the rules for caravan? It's a two-player game, and the winner takes the whole pie. You build a caravan using the cards in your deck. The goal is to create caravan bids that beat your opponent's bids, so there's more strategy than luck involved. Okay. That's why you won't see caravan in any casino. Too slow-paced. And more importantly, no house edge. Here, take this holotape. It goes into more specifics about the rules. You'll also need a deck, so take one of my spares. Thanks, so, buddy. You feel like playing a game? Well, I don't. I don't know. I don't have time right now, I don't think. All right. Uh, I, I'm actually on a mission, you know. Did you know a man named Joe Cobb is looking for you? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. What are you gonna do about the gangers? I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. If you need a hired gun, I'm available. All I've got left on me are a handful of caps, but you get me out of this and I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays you back. You've got my word. All right, buddy. I'll consider it. All right. 
Was there anything else you wanted to talk to me about? I don't know, buddy. What do you do around here? Oh, sorry. I thought everybody knew already. I'm a trader with the Crimson Caravan Company. I'm, uh, staying in town for a bit. Gotcha, buddy. Did you want something else? Why are the Powder Gangers out to get you? My caravan was on the return trip from California, and heading back to the company branch in New Vegas when we got jumped. Not even a drop your weapons and hands up before the bullets started flying. We put up a good fight, but there was too many of them. I took a few I of the bandits down like. before I ran, so I figure their friends are out for revenge. Tell me more about the Crimson Caravan Company. It's been in business for a very long time, and it's probably the biggest trading outfit in California. There's a branch up in New Vegas, but it hasn't been doing so well. Word is that the big boss herself, Alice McLafferty, is coming in to fix things. Okay. Kind of want to play a hand at Caravan, but let me see if I can get a good idea of the rules first. Yeah. Okay, buddy. How to play Caravan. Caravan decks are comprised of 30 cards from one or more traditional playing card sets. The deck may have any number of cards of any type that suits a player's strategy, although it cannot have duplicate cards from the same set. For example, a King of Spades from set A and a King of Spades from set B is acceptable. But more than one King of Spades from set A would be illegal. Caravan is played with two players building three opposing piles, or caravans, of numbered cards. The goal is to outbid your opponent's caravan with the highest value of number cards without being too light. Under 21 or overburdened over 26. Okay. The game begins with each player taking eight cards from their deck and placing either one numerical card or ace on each caravan. The player may not discard during this initial round. Once both players have started their three caravans, each player may do one of the following on their turn. Play one card and draw a new card from his or her deck to their hand. Discard one card from their own deck and draw a new card from his or her hand. Disband one of their three caravans by removing all cards from the pile. Caravans have a direction, either ascending or descending numerically from a suit. The suit is determined from the first card placed on the caravan, the direction from the second. All subsequent cards must continue the numerical direction or match the suit of the previous card. Okay, this is getting complicated. I don't want to do it. <laughs> I would rather be taught by showing instead of taught by, by seeing, you know? By reading it. I like playing card games, but most of the card games that I know, I've learned just by doing it. I guess I could just play a game and see what happens. I really don't want to lose, but... I mean, it seems like he might go easy on me. Nice. Got some good... I am over encumbered. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen sooner or later. Oh, that's the steal. I don't want to steal his stuff. Hey, buddy. Hey, uh, you're kind of running into me, buddy. All right, let me drop some things because I am over encumbered. Wait, I can use binoculars as a weapon? Interesting. I guess I'll drop my clipboard. Where's my weight? Ah, I'm one over. Clipboard will do. Buddy, I would like to try some cards, if we can. What is it? Hi. Let's play a hand of caravan. Sure. I'll probably suck at it at first, but we'll see. Auto match? What? What am I looking at here? Current ante is zero. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll just match it. Okay. Accept. Oh gosh, maybe I should have paid more attention to the rules. <laughs> Randomized caravan deck. Okay, wait, is this like... I think, I think I might have an idea of what this, this is like. We'll see. 
So I can't go over it, but I can't, I can't go over 26, but I gotta say, but I, I can't go under 21, sorry, or over 26. I'm, I'm kind of nervous. I, I think I'll put one king in my deck, in my caravan. We'll get an ace in there. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I got really lazy, didn't read the rules, and now I'm in this. <laughs> now I'm being extremely random, because I'm, I'm nervous. I'll just throw a joker in there. Oh, wait, wait, joker in there. Wait, I can just do a randomized one? Will it show me what's in there? This is the randomize, what they chose. So they went high on queens. Okay. We'll see what happens. I randomized it. Boneyard, too. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I think I do know how this works. Or maybe not. Select a card. I don't know how this works. <laughs> Take low. Nah, this was a mistake. No, I don't want to forfeit. If I win this, it's 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 not gonna be meaningful. <laughs> I can tell y'all I'm being extremely random. I don't even know anything about my card placement. Nah, we have to brush up on our caravan. We gotta brush up on the rules. What is happening? Is it broke? I lost a caravan. <laughs> well, you know, I didn't read the rules, so that's probably why I lost. I got too impatient and I did not read the rules. I am- I'm, pr I'm pretty shocked I happened upon Ringo, though. I'm mad I lost all those caps. Because I wanted to be lazy. Wait a minute, I think it's kind of pointing towards Ringo, though. Yeah, it's pointing towards Ringo. So, do I have to do something else more with Ringo? Hey, buddy. What is it? I think I gotta do something more with you. What are you gonna do about the powder gangers? I'm still laying low. Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, I'm available. All I've got left on me are a handful of caps, but you get me out of this and I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays you back. You've got my word. Okay, buddy. It'll have to do, now what? We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Okay. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board, I'll axe around, see who I can rang- Wait, what if I can do it all by myself? I was thinking of myself, actually. Who's gonna watch my back while I'm watching yours? Alright, if you insist. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Okay, buddy. Talk to Sunny Smiles. Well, I don't want Cheyenne to be involved, though, because she's cute and I don't want her to get hurt. I don't much care about Sonny's well-being, though. <laughs> I'm a bad person. Sonny, hey, I need your help. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Yeah, I was hoping that you could help Ringo take on the powder gangers. I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. Oh. <laughs> well, that was easy. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo, but I know his type. Mm -hmm. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. Okay. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. All I right. know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, Ooh. and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Okay. Any ideas on how to convince Trudy? 
A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. Okay. Would Chet be willing to give us his supplies? I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. Okay. And how can I get Easy Pete's dynamite? Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before you handed it over. Oh, shoot. Okay. This is... Okay. Thanks. I'll be waiting. This is a lot more than I thought it would be. All right, we'll start with Trudy since she's right here. Hello. Hey, Trudy. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a yep. big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Oh, no, that's not going to work. Wait, but the sneak one might. Near the saloon and store are good spots to stage an ambush if I had the help. That does sound like a good plan. All right, you seem to know what you're doing, so you can count me in. Thanks. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. Thank While you so much. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Yeah, I'm gonna go talk to him. Thank you. Be careful out there. Sure thing. Sorry about standing on top of the bar. Hi, hey. Easy Pete. I need your help. Howdy. Howdy. Okay, here we go. I heard you got dynamite. It would help us beat the powder gangers. Too dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. No, Better we'll be leave good. it buried. Safer that way. Oh, buddy. Oh, this isn't gonna work. Oh, no, okay. Yep. Wait, what do you know about Joe Cobb? Bad trouble. That's helpful. <laughs> Welcome. Shoot, how do I get him to... Told you before, it's too dangerous for a bunch of amateurs to handle. I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna fail though. <laughs> how hard can it be? Just light him and throw. Too dangerous, Sorry. Failed. Blow yourself up, blow <laughs> your neighbor up, blow the whole town up. Oh my gosh. I, I well, I just simply yep. don't have the explosive knowledge to get his help. Let's try Chet. Chet, hey. You looking to buy some supplies? Yeah, buddy. I need supplies to fight the Powder Gangers. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the Powder Gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. I don't have that. Oh, buddy. Oh, and I don't got the bottom skill to... <laughs> no. <laughs> the town's at stake. It's gonna fail. Look, you're bringing this on yourselves. There's no way I'm getting involved. But hey, I'm sure you can buy what you need. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, buddy. Bye. Take it easy now. Man. All right, well, hopefully I can get the doc to help. We're going to be all by ourselves. Doc, buddy, where you at? Hey, I need your help. Welcome back. I had hope you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. I'm okay. What can I do for you? Oh, I'm not hurt. The town is getting attacked by bandits. Is there anything you can do to help? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. No. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. Oh. And my supplies are scarce, but I'll give you what I can spare. Thank you, buddy. Thank you so much. Okay. Can you tell me about yourself? Well, I already told you I came from a vault. After that, I was a traveling doctor for a spell. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Most folks out here ain't educated, so people with medical know-how are hard to come by. I found that I could help a lot of people with what I knew, and that was all right with me. You helped me. Eventually, I went back and married my childhood sweetheart, Aww. and that was the end of my traveling days. Didn't miss it none then. Still don't. Well, where's your childhood sweetheart now? Wait, did you say you had something taken from you? Was it your childhood sweetheart? Well, ain't we all, right? That was a long time ago. I don't pay it much mind anymore. Oh, okay. Do you know anything about the man that shot me? I didn't see him or the men with him. 
You might ask around town, though. Could be someone saw which way they was headed. Oh, yeah, I've got Your that information. Your would probably be Trudy, the mm -hmm. bartender at the saloon up the road. She was if my best bet. If anyone saw anything, she'd know about it. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate you. You take care now. You too. Bye. Okay. So we got the doc to help. But we couldn't really get anybody else to help. Return to Ringo. Okay. Where's Ringo again? Oh, the gas station. Where's the gas station again? Because I got multiple nav points right now, you know? It's very hard for me to tell which one's which. Oh, there it is. Well, I wish I had the know-how and all those other things in order to get the rest of the town to help. Ringo, hey. So what's going on? Did Sunny agree to help us? Yeah, she did. She's with us. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Yep. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Hmm, I don't think that there is. Let's do this. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The power oh. gangers are here to play. How did you know he was here? Uh, where's Trudy and the rest? They're getting set up in cover, but it okay. might not go well unless we get out there soon. Okay, I hope nobody dies. Let's go. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Okay, let's save. Things might not go well. <laughs> Just in case things do not go well. I don't want anybody in town to die, you know? My cleaver covers up the whole half of my screen. Oh, a tumbleweed! Oh, woo! <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Oh, cover. Oh man, Trudy, you should maybe be, oh my gosh. Oh gosh. I should maybe have a gun instead. I got a little bit confused there. All right, a grenade rifle? Interesting. I do need a rifle. Okay. Oh, oh shoot. Is that guy with the cleaver for us or for them? I, who's ours and who's theirs? How you all right. That's Ringo. Okay, we don't want to shoot Ringo. And that's easy peek. It's a good thing I've got bats. I think I'm getting too far away. Wait. What happened? I've established a reputation with a group of people in the wasteland. Whether it's good or bad, I'm finally somebody. People associated with that group will start to react to what I've done. There are many different factions in the wasteland. I can develop a distinct reputation with each one. As I perform actions that benefit a group, I will gain fame. If I perform actions that harm a group, I will gain infamy. Your reputation with any given group is a measure of the combined total of fame and infamy you have earned. The benefits and drawbacks or any given reputation depend on the group itself. You may receive discounts from merchants, provoke attacks from hired thugs, or simply be treated differently. Liked, enough news of your good works has been passed around that people like me in Good Springs. Shunned, the powder gangers have left a poor impression with the community and may be shunned. Uh, I, I don't think I did a thing. I didn't do a thing. They did it all. D did everybody who I like live? Oh my gosh. This guy lost his head. I'll take his cleaver and his outfit. And now I'm over in combat. Wow. That's great. <laughs> Is that his head I over there? Huge oh, hi. Thank you Here, for the cash. These are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once Thank I explain you. things. Thank you. I didn't really do anything, but you're welcome. <laughs> I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan Camp. Okay, buddy. I'm just out here uh, looking at, I think, 
heads. And accidentally just charging my weapon. I think that's an eyeball. That... I think that's an eyeball, y'all. That's a big eyeball. All right, it's Cleaver back out, or I'll just take the broad machete. There we go. I, I honestly, I, I just didn't see him. I, I tried. I was using my vats. I just didn't see him. Where's Cobb? I didn't even get to do anything with him. I'm gonna have to drop something. I'm, I'm walking. I'm walking bad. Maybe we get rid of this. The value's only five anyway. There. And I'll eat my iguana bits. I got I got rads from that. I'll eat my iguana on a stick. Yeah. Iguana Bits has worn off. Well, that's good, because those are reds. The, the reds worn off. I don't see uh, the rest of the gang anywhere. just saw this one guy. He isn't even named. Oh. Here's one of them. He had a baseball bat. I think he can keep his baseball bat. Ooh, he had dynamite. I'll take it even though I'm an amateur and shouldn't be using it. <laughs> Got some rounds. Single shotgun. I'd love to, but I shouldn't. Oh, so they were all to our right? I did not know that. I am over encumbered. Single shotgun. Well, you know what? I am over encumbered, but I can go and sell some of this stuff at the shop. Like, I already have a varmin rifle, but that's fine. I'm gonna sell some of this stuff. Give me an outfit. Hope the store's open. I've done so well so far. Hey, Chet, I've got some stuff for you. That was a hell of a fight. Let's yeah. hope it doesn't bite us in the ass later on. I think it will. <laughs> Can do. Okay. I want to sell you some things, buddy. Let's see, weapons. Okay, these weigh the same. This one will give me more money, though. Got two cleavers. I only really need one. Alright, I'll sell the single shotgun. Johnny Guitar. Sell my field hand outfit. Alright, this one's worse. Johnny Guitar. 
All right. Accept. Thank you. Another satisfied customer. Absolutely. Thank you. Take it you. easy now. You too. I am still over in comfort. <laughs> Five four points. Well, can I make something? Surely I can make something, right? By now, I can repair something. I can make something. Oh, this is making uh, bullets. I can make some bullets. It's interesting. I got lead and stuff, but I don't know what kind of bullets I want to make. I haven't really had a favorite gun yet. All right, I can make a gecko hide belt. What's that going to do for me, though? It's just going to weigh me down, it looks like. I guess I could sell it, yeah. It says it's valued at zero, though. So I really can't sell it. I guess it's only real value is to up my repair skill. Uh, I'll do it. How many? Make eight. Eight leather belts added. Okay. Hopefully they're actually worth something. Go see if I can sell them for some good money. Said they were worth zero. But Howdy. we'll find out. Oh, Chet, where are you? Oh, there you are. You looking to buy some supplies? I'm looking to sell some stuff to Damn you, buddy. Dude. I hope you want these, uh, these gecko belts I made. I made a lot of them. Where are they? Are they not apparel? What is going on? I made a ton of gecko belts. Where are they? Oh, leather belts. Okay. Oh, wait. They are worth something. That's good. Okay. How many leather belts do I want to sell you? Well, I'll keep, I'll keep like five because they weren't that hard to make. There. Got some caps from that. Thank you. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Thanks so much. Take it easy now. I'm still over. <laughs> Oh gosh, maybe I should just sell my other belts. Oh, I kept a lot more than I thought I did. Hold on. You looking to buy some supplies? Yeah, buddy. Damn I'm gonna dude. sell all my belts, but like three, I guess. They're not apparel. <laughs> they should be, but they're not. Alright, I'll sell seven. I'll keep two. Thank ya. Pleasure doing business with you. Thanks. Take it easy now. Uh, am I still? Nope, I'm good. I can move. <laughs> the one thing I try to do for town and the town just defends itself. I did nothing. Alright. Let's see, what other quests can I do that I can actually do? This one sounds interesting. It's a science fiction feature. Let's go there. I don't know if we're gonna make it there today, but we can start traveling, you know? I wonder if we can fast travel. I don't know. How far is this? Can I see it on a map? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's pretty far. I guess that's fine, because... I wonder how big this map is. Oh, I'm going to pass Prim and the Canyon Wreckage, so maybe I should do those quests first. Yeah. All right, quests. All right, the canyon wreckage. Let's do that one first. Because that one's closer. We're basically... We're essentially going to be passing it on the way there, you know? Try to stick to the road so I don't get myself into trouble. Shouldn't have been doing this at night, either. interesting though because I get to repair items 
like in a lot of the Elder Scrolls games. Still have a lot to learn in this game, though. Oh, I've discovered several locations. I can fast travel, okay. Back to discovered locations using the world map on my pit boy. Okay, so I can fast travel. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Any lawman that comes that sucks. Won't have it easy. It, 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 they didn't even react, <laughs> but that really sucked for me. All right, let me eat something in case these guys want to kill me. Probably need the healing powder at this point. Oh wait, here's my fixing things. It is an aid. Okay, can I use it? All right, I used it. I also got boxing times. There we go. All right, can I eat some of my gecko meat? All right, I'll eat my iguana on a stick. Barely did anything for me. Hey buddies, can I eat some of your sausages? Oh, is that dynamite? I cannot take the dynamite. Hey buddy. You eyeballing me? Oh shoot, y'all are powder gangers. I'm I'm just gonna go. Don't ignore me. Ignore me. Why am I overburdened? I didn't even take anything. I don't know what I did, but for some reason. I've become overburdened. Something I ate? I think it might have been something I ate. Can I can I cook at y'all fire? Do y'all have a fire? Look, I'm not eyeballing, I'm just I'm I'm kinda wanting to cook, okay? Is that okay? Thank you. Please don't kill me. Just looking to cook, okay? Uh, apparently I can't cook any of that or any of this. That's great. Or any of that. Alright, food. I can't cook anything. I guess never mind. Goodbye. Sorry. Wanna eat something? Maybe that's why I'm so slow. Might have to do my doctor bag. No, because I don't have any body parts. That's not my problem. I, I really want to be able to cook this. It barely does anything if it's not cooked. Oh my gosh. Got my gecko meat. Okay, maybe I should take my healing powder. Also got a stem. Let's take a stem. Okay, that was maybe overkill. Why am I still slow? What happened to my... What happened to me? <laughs> oh, wait, maybe it's... Maybe it's reds. Oh my gosh, it's probably reds. There. Was it reds? No, I don't know what... I don't know. I'm just wasting my resources is what I'm doing. Fixing things has worn off. Boxing times has worn off. They wear off?! I thought that they were- I thought those magazines were forever perks! I- I'm very upset! <laughs> They're not forever perks! At this point I should just revert to- revert to my last save! <laughs> oh gosh, I'm so mad at myself right now and for some reason I can't walk. I was at like 200. Why am I at 190 now? <laughs> Gotta drop something. I'll drop my large whiskey bottle. How about that? And I'll drop, I don't know, my paperweight. It's probably weighing me down. I'll drop both. I'll drop my tin cans. There, you happy? All my good stuff. That was real upsetting. Oh no, I'm getting rads. But there is a Nuka Cola here. Oh, it's empty. Okay, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Sorry, sorry. 
Is that a gecko? I'm gonna run. My gecko meat has worn off. Oh, there's Prim. It is spooky out here though, huh? Oh my god! <laughs> Look at in front of me! <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, his head is crippled. That's really sad. I am crippled. Use a stem sleeper, find a doctor. Great. Oh gosh! His friend came. Hey, buddy, I'm real sorry. Very sorry, buddy. But you cannot be running at me like that. I've got limb damage. I've already gotten limb damage. I don't even know how to cook my gecko meat. Oh, who's living here? Look at the buffalo sign. Hey, I discovered Prim. You think you're going? Hi. Prim is off limits. Sorry, what's going on here? Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Oh. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. What if, uh... What if I can help? Oh, you're NCR? Well, thanks for the warning, buddy. Be careful. You may want to talk to Lieutenant Hayes. Okay. You need a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. Sure, buddy. I, this is not really where I was headed anyway. I think I passed up what I was headed for. Healing limbs. Okay. All right. Sleep, doctor, or a stem. Sure. Uh, I'll take a stem. How about that? There. Now... I want to find out where I gotta be. Did I pass it up? Whoa, that's... Okay, I, 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 want, I want to be... <laughs> I want to look at the world map, thank you. <laughs> okay, so the canyon wreckage is where I want to be, which is right here. So I gotta turn like this way this way. Just wanted to see how far I was from it. I am gonna go back to Prim, probably next time, but I wanted to get to the canyon wreckage before it gets... Well, I think this is about as dark as it's gonna get. <laughs> really wish I could find a bed to make it day. I really don't know how to get to this location quite. Can I pick this? What's this? Can I pick this? Ooh, rock flower. I need that. That can make healing powder. Uh, I don't, I don't know how to get to the wreckage. I guess I'm gonna have to do some mountain climbing, huh? Is that what it's telling me to do? Oh gosh, what is that? A coyote? That's fine, you know. I, I took it too soon anyway. Can can I? Is this a force field? Okay. Well, I guess I cannot mountain climb because there's a force field. Okay, that sinister music? I don't need it. it <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. That was very sinister. Okay, I don't know how to get to this place. I, I feel like it's beyond this mountain, but... I'm confused. Yeah, see, it's like over this mountain. I don't know how I'm gonna get there. I hope these regenerate. Like in less than 30 days. Alright, they're letting me go over here, but... It's like the end of the lawn. I guess I'll go to Prim then. It's gotta be safe. Probably have to go inside Prim to get there somehow. Like maybe I gotta turn. Oh, this place is devastated. 
Yeah, somehow gotta get around the mountain. I think that's what I gotta do anyway. I don't even know what to expect over here. Ooh, a playground. What's this? Tin can. Toy cars. Okay, I think I'm on the right track now. Pretty sure we're good here. Ooh. Stuff? Is it stuff? Ooh, a grenade. Nice. Very nice. Pork and beans. A uh, dead body. And a graffiti. I'm really nervous. I don't feel very capable. Oh, look. Lonesome Road? Oh, this is a DLC. This is Lonesome Road. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, don't, don't touch me. Okay, don't touch, don't touch. I don't know, I'm not really ready for a DLC right now. I, I, I'm gonna have to go. I didn't realize what I was getting myself into. Oh gosh. I'm excited to play it, but I, at the very beginning of the game, I'll, I'll probably die many times. So we're gonna go, we're gonna do something. What the hell? Get away from me. Like something I'd have lost. Jesus. All right, we'll take a look at what else we can do. Maybe I should stay here and, and do the actual main quest. You know? I gotta talk to uh, a guy in a tent. Hey, buddy. Oh, let me put this away. Hi. How you doing? I'm Sergeant McGee of the New California Republic Army, 5th Hi. Battalion, 1st Company. If you want to talk about something, speak to Lieutenant Hayes. Sure, buddy. Where are you from? I'm from Hub originally, but it's been a long time since I saw it. I'm on my second tour here. Oh, Most okay. Most non-commissioned officers are. Goodbye. Sir. Talk. Okay. It's weird. <laughs> Small burn book. <laughs> Small destroyed book. Y'all burning books around here? Let's see. Oh, wait. I can, I can take this cooking pan? Can I cook with it? Oh, someone's blocking this. Can I make anything here? Oh, this is his tent. Hey, buddy. Oh, you're just a trooper. Hey, buddy. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Hello. Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? Well, uh, what are you doing out here? We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. What's the problem? The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. The convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. Really? I'm trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns with some firepower, but shit. Things are just going slow. Well, I could promise to help and then not help at all and then get the credit. <laughs> Can you tell me about the correctional facility? Most people just call it NCRCF. That's NCR Correctional Facility. Wow, that's a big acronym. A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup. Killed the guards that weren't able to escape. And have been ransacking the area since then. Sounds terrible, buddy. Do you have any information on these convicts? Not much. They've taken to calling themselves powder gangers. Mostly because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. Okay, I've encountered them before. They got organized before. faster than I would have thought. Most of them, at least. Thankfully, the small group in town here seem to have split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. Okay, but I thought you said that they were well supplied. I have some other questions. I have some free time. Ask away. Oh, really? With all of everything that's going on, you got free time? I don't have any more questions. I lied. Sir. Okay. Can I take anything in here? Oh, I can't take any of your things? Well, that's disappointing. Can I sleep in the bed? Can I sleep here, or is that not okay? All right, I'm gonna save just in case I cannot sleep here. 
All right, we're gonna try to sleep. How long would I like to sleep? Well, at least until morning. All right, they'll let me sleep. Yay! Thanks, buddy, I appreciate you. All right, looks much brighter now. Wait a minute, so the lieutenant gets his whole tent and then everybody else sleeps in this tent? Aww. Poor buddies. I didn't, I didn't get any kind of quest off of that, so I guess the, oh, it must be really nice to sleep up here in the open, you know? I guess I cannot help. Uh, no one's here. Can I take this? I'm completely hidden. I've lost karma? But no one saw me! <laughs> That's unfair. Lost karma. What is that, personal? Hey, buddy. Got business here? No, buddy. I... So... Oh, my God! <laughs> I'm so upset. I'm gonna go sleep. That's fine. I'm all, I'll sleep. Wow. So I have to take personal accountability for what I do in this game, huh? I can't just do whatever. I, <laughs> if I try to do anything, I'll have to I'll have to take accountability for it. My karma, huh? That sucks. It's kind of like Fable, if you think about it. You know, in Fable, if you do a lot of good deeds, you get a halo, and if you do a lot of bad deeds, you get horns. It's the same concept, and I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know where I can go and where I can't go because everything, there's grenades everywhere. There's mines. Oh wait, can I have this? Oh, it's empty. Oh. Aren't there any full Nuka Colas anywhere? I don't even know where the guys they're fighting are. I haven't seen the powder gangers. If I go if I go defeat them, will I uh will I get my karma back? Hey buddy. What is it? Oh, you're the sir. same guy. Okay. I don't know why you're calling me, sir. Is there any place safe to walk? It'd be nice if I knew that. Alright. I've got going on over here. But if I continue this way, will it be all right? Okay, there's one. <gasps> David, I tried to. <laughs> I'm so upset. I tried to disarm it. I tried to disarm it. And it blew up in my face. All right, this is getting ridiculous. All right, well, at least I know what they look like now. Maybe I can avoid them. They do kind of blend in with the ground, though. All right. Please, please, nothing blow me up. Please, nothing blow me up. Okay. Ooh, tumbleweed. Just want to surveil the area. What? 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 Oh, they're below me. Oh, they're below me, y'all. Oh, shoot. Okay, 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 buddy, buddy. Oh, gosh, buddy. Critical strike. That is right. I'll take everything that's not too heavy. All right, where are those other buddies? Oh, hey, are you? He is not okay. Got a delivery order. Shoot. Got 
Got too close to me, buddy. Got too close. Should not have approached. A wealth stone, what's that for? I bet. I wonder what that's for. All right. Did they say they were holed up in the casino? Can't remember if that's what they said or not. A wealth stone could probably include a wealth stone could probably improve a blade like it can in The Witcher. You know, Steve Hotel, the Bison Steve Hotel. Oh, hey, buddies! Whoa, did you just throw a grenade? Buddy threw a grenade. Come on, you like that? Okay. Oh, zero percent. Not close enough. Where'd he go? Shoot. Yeah. Come on. Woo. Gotcha, buddy. Should not have approached. Ooh, nice. All right, I gotta take a stem. Can I quick select things is the question. I need light, and I don't like what I heard in here. I really hate what I think I heard. Is that just my footsteps? They just make that noise? Dirty water, an egg timer. Don't know what that is. We'll take it anyway. I am over in combat. That's... I don't like that noise. What? Is that just my footsteps? Yeah. All right, we gotta, we gotta think of what we wanna drop. We'll drop the tin can, drop the surgical tubing. Yeah. Really don't want to drop my yeast. Oh look, it repairs my current weapon. Well, I don't know if I need that just yet. I think my weapon's okay, huh? Let's take a look. Yeah, the condition's all right. It's up at the top. All right. I'll try not to pick up anything but caps unless it's like really good. Ooh, floor safe. I cannot open it. Thanks. Empty cash register. Ooh, not empty cash register. I know, I know what I said. <laughs> oh, a teddy bear. I think the floor is just like wet or something. Maybe that's why my steps sound like that. That was with my light. <laughs> what was I saying about my light being excellent? <laughs> Maybe not so much. All right, if I sit here, can I wait? Can I wait? No, I just sit? Okay, that's useless to me then. Easy locks, can't even get into an easy lock. Yep, nope. Ooh, a Nuka Cola. Yeah, I know what I said. <laughs> I'll drink the Nuka Cola. I need, I need, I need it anyway. Aid. <laughs> oh. There. I'll drink two Nuka Colas. And I'll, I'll drop these, uh, I think I'll drop these nuts. Yeah. Uh, no, because the nuts don't have any rads on them, though. My pork and beans have two rads. Let me drop one of my pork and beans. There we go. Lots of enemies. Come on. Whoa, okay. Whoa, someone let me on fire. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Why does it say zero percent? 
was right there. It definitely wasn't zero percent. You like that? No, I didn't, buddy. I did not like that. Oh gosh, you got one right behind you. Not the most elegant way of killing them, but hey, it worked. Are there more in here? No, I don't see any. Ooh. Incinerate. Oh, I really want this, though. I should have gotten the Horta perk. <laughs> I made a mistake. I'll take that stem. Hey, buddy. Sorry I had to kill. Dog meat. I wonder where dog meat is. I don't think, uh... I don't think the time is- I don't think the timing is quite right for dog meat. Okay, can I cook anywhere over here? That would be great. Looks like I can sleep. Can I cook here? Aw, this poor Brahmin. Aw. Wonder if I can fight with a metal spoon. <laughs> sleep an hour. Thank you. Feeling a lot better. I should probably drop, like, everything I picked up. Okay, I think I'll have to drop some of my hats. Like, I just cannot have this many hats. And I have to choose what alma I want. Like, this alma, maybe not the best really be wearing this alma, I think, and I'll just- I'll drop this alma. There. How do I look? Ooh! I look way cooler. Alright, I don't need any more sunsets. <laughs> I don't need any more sunsets, Asperilla. <laughs> Gotta chill out with that. I've got too many. Right, they got a whole kitchen and oh they got a guy in here uh, hi are you a prisoner i don't suppose you came here to rescue me uh not I'd quite i fingers, didn't know about you hands are not. right who are you well i'm deputy beagle and i'm being held hostage can you imagine i'd be most grateful yeah. if you would set me free well but how did you end up being a hostage i must say it's been the low point of my career in law enforcement the powder gangers stole into town at night and murdered my sister and her husband, the sheriff, oh, in bed while I was sleeping in the office. That's awful. I watched them for a bit, waiting for the right moment to pounce and arrest a lot of them, taking careful notes as I watched. To my dismay, they found me while I waited in the shadows and brought me here. Hmm. Okay, I'll set you free. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Yeah, sure. Wait, like if... Wait, 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 what? My kind of town. Like, I cut you loose just so you can run away? Like, I don't want your help? Oh, wait a minute. I would fail that anyway. You don't look like you'd be much help! Oh my gosh, that's so mean! <laughs> I don't want him to die! Stick with me! Both, both of these are mean, and this one's actually mean too! I'm going to say this one because I want him to live. Then I'll defer to your superior appraisal of character and prowess in contests of arms and see you outside. See you outside. <laughs> Bye, buddy. Oh, gosh. That's stealth. All right, so I've got a place to sleep and I've got some purified water. I'm over encumbered. I guess I'll deal with that later. So I really want all that stuff. And all that stuff. I'm gonna end the video over in comfort, yeah. <laughs> That's just like me. Should have gotten the Horta perk. I knew I should have. Thank y'all so much for watching, and if you liked the video, don't be afraid to subscribe. Bye, y'all.